Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Hi guys, welcome. End of the week video. Yes. So we finished this week with playing with lime. Yes. Let's say. Yes. Best description. <laughs> <laughs> we show you various types of lime for making lime putty. Yep. From the lime putty, we can then make our lime wash. Yes. And we played with... Lime, quick, lime, quick lime, quick lime, cow viva, depending on whereabouts you are. So you don't have to, <laughs> you don't want to. It's, it's quite aggressive, it's quite yes. something to see. That's right. And before anybody comments, yes, we know we should have used a bigger bucket. <laughs> You'll suit with me. The only other thing is reminders, guys, for the fairy doors. I've had the first competition entry in, so more would be appreciated. Yeah. And the lady in question said she really enjoyed doing it, so hopefully you guys are doing the same. Yes. Enjoy the video. And we'll see you next time. Lovely day. Very, very cold. I've only got a breeze now after the past week of really, really high winds. So we're uh, going to get these Christmas lights down. It's a shame, really, because they look quite nice. Cable ties are all down. Now it's a question of trying to collate them up in such a way that next year when you take them down, they aren't all knotted up. And that never works, but it's always a good plan to try. <laughs> yes. So that's the first set down that were all around the patio. <clears throat> and I'm going to take down the ones that I love so much from Chris put them up for me. Go all the way around, all the way in the fig tree. All the way over there, in that tree, all the way along here, and then back down across into that room down there. And this big long length is really good. It came with a reel to put it onto. That'd be much better. Yes. So we can not have it all tangly to next year, this year, later on this year. Gosh, that's confusing, isn't it? You in the tree? Yes. Lots of new growth on it. So this mad cut down we did on the tree hasn't hurt it at all. There's plenty of new growth. We're yeah. gonna have lots of things again. This is new growth. Looking over here. Yeah. This branch was cut hard as you can see, but look all this is new growth. It's doing really well. We've reached the second tree now. This is the almond tree. And uh again new growth. And more importantly. Buds. Yes. Look at these. These, these, buds. Will, these will be flower buds in uh, a week or two, I think. They will, yes. Well, depending on what the weather does. Yeah. We have a casualty. Blue tape marks the spot. <coughs> um, where the cable ties are in these eyelets. Some of them were done up a bit too tight. Yeah. And in cutting the cable ties, yeah. Chris cut the cable. Luckily only one piece. And I'll uh, get that fixed. Yes. Get it fixed and then it'll all be waterproof again by the time I finish fixing it. That's it. <coughs> That's there. It's a good bit of solder all around. Gone cold, good tug, no movement. Next, I slide this tubing over. Yay! And they all work? They all work. Yes, that's the best way to find it out because swapping from one colour to the next. So I've just popped out to uh, run some errands and was passing the bodega, so I thought, why not pop in and get some more vermouth. And look at these machines they've still got. Amazing. How's that for a wine press? That involved some work somewhat different to how it's done now, isn't it? It's 
just going to pop into the shop and uh, get some stock. Hola, buenas. That's my usual. Mm, that's what I pay. A bit different to what my dad pays when he buys it for me in the UK. We've got blue sky, a few clouds, but the weather warnings are for snow. We actually live just the other side of this mountain range here. In this particular valley, pff, it's flat, big, beautiful, but also the trees are completely different to ours at home. We've got trees in blossom. I can hear a bee. See if I can find him. Ours are only just in bud. Further down this valley, it's a big flat base of the of the valley that's full, full, full of I don't know how many hectares or something big area of masses of trees all flat and people actually take um coach trips out to come and see the blossom when everything's up uh, out in flower it's that beautiful but these occasional trees are just standing out because nothing else is at this stage they are gorgeous can't wait for us to come out in flower here you can see our side of that mountain range there's not a lot of flowers some things with buds but just what a difference all right look who's come to our aid look what i brought he's relented uh, <laughs> he knows what works yes fill this hole in for him stick it in there let's go in and get some in there as well <laughs> Yes. Brought a spare car in case you really get attached to it. <laughs> so that should be alright I think now. Yeah. It's just so we've got something we can plaster over the top. Going and going and going. Is there anything in this wall? No. It's right. hollow. All the way up. Leave that ten minutes, let it expand, and then if we need to put a bit more in we can do. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Well, does this feel like the old days, dear? Yes it does. Apart from this is a little toy, <laughs> little hobby one, tiny little thing. The machines I used to use are as nearly as big as this car. Yes. Proper industrial one. Right, so clean this barrel out. We're going to be mixing the uh, lime with water to make a lime putty. And um, we're going to do two different kinds and we'll show you the difference between the two. Yep. This one is the powdered version. Um, and apparently, it doesn't need as long before it's ready as the rock variety. So uh, I'm getting this one cleaned out for the powdered one. Yep. We've got five bags. That should easily make enough for what we need. Mm -hmm. But we're also trying with the Calviva as well. And uh, we've got two bags, is it, or three bags? Three, I think. Three. They're at this. We'll show you them in a little while. Um, and we'll make that into putty as well. Yeah. And we'll show you the difference between the two. Now that one needs a minimum of three months. Um, and it can last for a very, very long time. Yeah, the machines that we used to use, you could uh, quite easily lift tarmac with them. Yes. And uh, write your name in the in mortar and things like that. Lots more pressure than this. A lot, yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know how many bar this one is. Probably a hundred bar. We was running a four or five hundred bar. Yeah. Uh, a lot more powerful. Okay, so. I'm gonna put the lime powder in. There we have, it's just in here. We're doing it all in this outside bathroom in the shower cubicle because that's where it's going to live. So that's where we're gonna make it. And then it's just there, it's out of the way. It's not gonna freeze. But if we put it in the cage, 
We're adding a water source into the caves that could have potentially evaporated and been rehabilitated, which we don't want. This is what we're using. <coughs> it's hydrated cow uh, lime. Um, the process of doing it from the quick lime, from the Calviva, is already done. So this is safer to use. It's still, you don't want to be getting it on your skin, and you certainly don't want to bring the dust in. But the dangerous part of the process is done already. It's already been rehydrated and then it's dried, and then it's turned into a powder. I don't understand the process. It's, if, to me, rehydrated means it's wet, but it's not, it's dry. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, Lily will just show you where it is, because when well, I'm pulling this out, she's not gonna be in here with this powder. So this powder is going to go into this big bucket, yep. and then we'll top it up with water, and it has to have a covering of water the whole time. I'll get that poured in. And then once it's all poured in, we'll show you it, and the water to it, because everybody knows I've poured powder into a bucket. Yes. Well, he's put all the, the, the bags of powder into the container, and yeah. now it looks like this. Yeah, the dust mask isn't particularly good for this stuff. I think it's because my... You haven't got your, yeah. your chin. No, sorry, I'll just show you what we've got. This is what we call, a, in the UK, we call it a 40 gallon. I think it's on 100 and something litres. And it's nearly full. Right, and all we've got to do is just fill this up with water. Could take a while. So, this is the Calviva. <clears throat> it's in rocks. That bag's got a little hole in it. I hope it hasn't overreacted. I don't think so. Anyway, it's in a rock. I'm not going to release it yet <clears throat> until we're ready. Just sort of sort that out. It's in Spanish for the security, safety, and also in English. Okay, so that's the water going in. All this bubbling is, is air. As it's, as the water's going down, it's replacing the air that's inside. So I'm going to fill it up to this level here, mm -hmm. or maybe slightly higher. So you can see at the moment, Chris has filled it to that line level. And this bubbling that you can see isn't actually a reaction of any description. It's literally the water going down and forcing air bubbles out of the powder. There's nothing happening chemical wise here. There is no heat at all. So this is just air being forced out as the water goes down. And you can actually see slowly the water level is dropping just as it's sinking in. What has to happen is this has to fill with water in amongst all the powder and then it has to have a good chunk of water on top capping it and why are we doing this what we're making making lime putty which in turn will be lime wash um, this needs time but not as much time as the other that we're doing the calviva we're doing that as more as an experiment just to see how they compare um, there shouldn't be any difference but you never know, I doubt it. But we can use it for construction as well, so it doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, we're always going to need a batch of lime wash ready to go for when, after we've painted the caves, and later on when, it, when they need topping up, because they will. So we always need some on the go. We've got some already made, um, but we made that in a tub with a net that was too small. Yes. That can be our to go to because we, it's easy to scoop it out and it lasts for years, yeah. years and years and years, and it doesn't go off. So here you go, going back to this, can you see how the water's dropped down? The level's going down. So, an update on the uh, foam that Andy very kindly did for us. You can see some of it came through from the other side there, but this hole is all filled and this is nice and solid now. So, that's brilliant. It now means we can plaster this and make it look something nice. So, thank you very much again, Andy. Much appreciated. Okay, so we've just gone and checked. I've got Lillian on the case. We decided to give it a bit of a mix, and it's really gone down a lot more. I got, there we go. So. It's feeling solidish there. Yeah. Just about that far down. Yeah. There's still big bubbles coming up every so often. That's it. 
So now it hasn't absorbed all the water yet. And this has been half an hour. Yeah. I can't even, it's too, it, it feels like um, corn flour in the bottom of a jar. As you get down, it's thicker. So we're on top up seven, I think, and it's still got some bubbles coming out. Some air bubbles down there. We did end up mixing the walking stick, as you saw, and there's still some dry stuff at the bottom. So it's still going. Um, but I don't think it'll be too long and it'll be sorted. We've moved that one over here now. We was going to leave it over there and then realised that um, this should be ready before this. So I'm getting myself all prepared. Got my gloves on. Got this, this mask instead. And uh, there's a bag of the stuff there. Lillian's holding my goggles. My, my eye protection. Yep. So this is now going into a black truck, which is there. Mm -hmm. You can see all the white bits in there, that's because we've had live in it before. And again, the reason why we're doing it in the bathroom is one, we're not using this area. Two, we're not leaving it in the case where it's going to evaporate and cause even more moisture. And three, I forgot, I lost count. We can lock this door. Yeah. So, uh, Nobody can get hurt. This still comes with rocks. That's a difference. So that way, if I stop getting in dirty for it, must turn the right. I'm sure it'll be fine. What he said was that piece looks like it's got impurities in it, not completely white. And the reason I don't have a mask on is the minute that he puts the water in this wall just before, I'm handing him all of this and I'm stepping out. And that's all the rocks. Some of them might have got some light impurities in them, but I guess that's the nature of the beast. Okay, I've got this filled with water. The reaction is just starting. So, uh, yeah, I'll set it on time lapse, so uh, it's not so boring. <laughs> Right, Ed. we're going to have a look. Door's cold, so that's all right. <laughs> I'm just going to shut that again so we don't get a dover in. Um, I'll take the camera in. Yep. I don't need it for my eyes, but I do. For the fumes. For the fumes. Leave the door open, I'll take the dogs at the top of the garden. Okay. Dogs, come. Whoa. Well, that's been doing a thing. Wow. You see the heat, the bucket's burning at the bottom. Right. Hope the dope is all right. Well, it's going to be very interesting what footage the GoPro picked up on time lapse because that is mad, absolutely mad. The bucket was that shape; it's now that shape. <laughs> yeah, I did try and show the steam coming off still. Okay. Uh, right, I think we'll leave that now for a couple of three hours. <laughs> And just so. need it to calm down. Yes. Because I don't know when the GoPro battery is nearly flat. That's that's uh, that's it. Very interesting. Very much so. In fact, let's go inside and pull up the computer and have a look. Quick, quick. <laughs> We have to wait. Give me a ball whilst you're waiting. Good boy. Good boy. So, that's what we've got. Uh, it's definitely a bubble. There's a bit of water in there. Now I'll just need to top it up with water 
Then we'll see where, how we go. Might have to find another tub to split it actually. This is the other one. That's that. It's done. Uh, we'll leave that until we need it now. Good to get it done early. And that's the other one. Just there. This is all just lime. It'll clean up. It doesn't matter anyway because this all needs a good clean. We've used it for lots of uh, dog washing and mixing mixes in here as well. So it'll all clean up. So basically, the two processes you've seen eventually will produce the same product. Uh, the powdered version, which most people use, which is what we also intend to, intended to use, but we also wanted to try the more traditional method of making lime putty first and then turning that into lime wash, but you can do lime putty to build with too. Um, it's just interesting. Um, they'll both be left well, one will be left for three months minimum anyway. We can't use it. And we hope that the caves are done be well before that, so we've got paint anyway. And we've got the other lime wash that we made before. Um, so we've got enough, but we're going, we're going to see as an experiment. So in about three months, four months time, call it three, call it four months. We'll have to remember, and we'll do a comparison between the two. Because that won't, neither of them will, one won't, go downhill it'll just stay and the other one needs that time before it's ready so three months four months we'll do a comparison and see if there's actually any difference thanks for watching tales from the cave side if you like what we do please consider subscribing if you haven't already drop us a like and leave us a comment see you on the next one